today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're getting stuck into two chaos mystery boxes. These are my vision for how a chaos mystery box should be. So the patron today we have is Gav. So Gav is a very hungry gentleman. He's going to get two of these. So we're going to move them aside and let's roll one through three, four through six, and we'll narrow things down. Okay, so six this row, and then we'll go one through five. So number five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I can actually count. And then we'll do the same thing again for the second one. So second row, and okay, let's roll again, one through four. Whoops. Yes, number two, finally. And I hope you fast forwarded through that, and we're not subject to the excruciating weight Okay, let's move these out of the way and stay tuned for future unboxings and you might have guessed there is a theme that is returning this month. A very popular theme. We actually did this last month. You will find out very shortly and I can hear some of you groaning and some of you cheering. So let's take a look what is in this first box here. Okay, we have Modern Horizons, Guilds of Ravnica, Theros Beyond Death. Oh yes, they're back. The Invocations. Core 2020, Ikoria, and Core 2021. So let's bookend things with the core sets here, and then we'll do Modern Horizons last. And let's take a look at this delicious foil here. And leave a note in the comments, are you a fan of the Armand Ket or Hour of Devastation? Invocations, I think they're fantastic. Uh, if you can read them. Okay, so this one. Kefnet the Mindful. This is a fantastic pool. Legendary creature, god. So it's a 5-5 five, five for 3 mana. Has flying and indestructible. And Kefnet the Mindful can't attack or block. Unless you have 7 or more cards in hand. And let's see. For 3 and a blue, draw a card. Then you may... Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Yeah, so this is a bit hard to read at this angle, but very cool foiling there. Excellent artwork. Okay, pop that in there and get cracking. Any patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So thank you once again for being a patron, Gav. Good luck, sir. We start off here with Infuriate. Steadfast Sentry, Frilled Sea Serpent, Thicket Crasher. Blood Burglar, Chandra's Embercat, Centaur Corsa, Prismite, Pacifism, and Uncommon's Thrashing Brontodon. Blood Soaked Altar, Overgrowth Elemental, and the rare is Graph Digger's Cage. Not bad at all. So it's an artifact for one. Creature cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. And what else? A foil Scorch Spitter. Let's rearrange the lighting here, get a bit more foliage. Excellent. And a Swamp and Treasure Token. Okay, moving right along. And speaking of Core 2020, did you see the pack battle we had yesterday? It was an epic pack battle between Core 2020 and 2021. I'll pop a link in the corner in case you missed it. Gav! Gav, you've got the goat! Okay, video's over. Gav's got the goat. Fantastic, Paul. Pop that over there. Okay, and an island. Non-foil. But you do get a Nyxborn Seaguard foil. And the rare is Mantle of the Wolf. And yes, we do like the goat token. Enchantment Aura for four. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus four, plus four. And when Mantle of the Wolf is put into graveyard from the battlefield, create two, two, two green wolf creature tokens. An Uncommons, Warden of the Chain, Shimmerwing Chimera, Agonizing Remorse, Commons, Underworld Rage Hound, Wings of Hubris, Myers Grasp, Dreadful Apathy, Deny the Divine Nexus Wardens, Farika's Libation, Return to Nature, and Blight Breath Katobal Par. And who has apathy about Double Masters? Or are you looking forward to it? So we're going to be cracking a bunch of that on the channel next weekend, unless my orders don't come in. So. Fingers crossed on that. Looking forward to it, including those VIP packs. All right, can't wait. Next up, Ikoria, we have Phase Dolphin, Cathartic Reunion, 
Divine Arrow, Whisper Squad, Sudden Spinneret, Sage's Turtle, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, and Uncommon's Exuberant Wolf Bear, Majestic Oracorn, Insatiable Hemophage, and the rare is Sky Cat Sovereign, Creature Elemental Cat, which I guess is the best kind of cat, 1-1 one, one for 2 with flying, so it gets plus one, plus one for each other creature you control with flying. And for two white and blue, create a one, one white cat bird creature token with flying. Oh, that would be fun if we got the cat bird. Blossoming Sands and Human Soldier. Alas, it was not meant to be. What is your favorite token in that set? It's gotta be the cat bird, right? Love the cat bird. Okay, next up we have Guild's Cosmotronic Wave. Sworn Companions, Wall of Mist. Wojak Bodyguard, Vicious Rumors, Vigor Spore Worm, Direct Current, Iron Shell Beetle, Muse Drake, Gateway Plaza, and Uncommon's Conclave, Tribunal, Crawl, Swarm, Enhanced Surveillance, and what's it going to be? It is Midnight Reaper is the rare creature, Zombie Knight 323, so whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals one damage to you, and you draw a card. And a is it Gilgate? Or is it not? And an Elf Knight token. Moving on. Core 2021. Which is your favourite core set of all time? Is it this one? Or is it Core 2019? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, we've got an Angel token. I'll chuck that in. Oh, and a Gorgeous Mountain. I'll chuck that in as well. And rare Nine Lives. Enchantment for three. Has Hexproof if a source will do damage to you. Prevent that damage and put an Incarnation Counter on nine lives, and when there are nine more incarnation counters on nine lives, exile it, and when it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. That is a fun one indeed. Sanctum of Calm Waters for the Uncommons, Warden of the Woods, Indulging Patrician, Commons, Village Rights, Turn to Slag, Sanguine Indulgence, Igneous Cur, Cancel, Rambunctious Mutt, Radiant Fountain, Ornery Dilophosaur, Shock, Skeleton Archer, and that is it. And if you hadn't noticed already, we do look at the commons on this channel because magic artwork deserves to be seen and not just skipped past in a crazy quest for value. Okay, uh, Shapeshifter token and what's this one again? Ranger Captain of Eos, of course. Snow-covered island and the rare is Unsettled Mariner. Creature Shapeshifter 2 2, for two with Changeling. This card is every creature type. And whenever you or a permanent you control becomes a target of spell or ability and opponent controls, counter that spell or ability unless its controller pays one. Okay, an uncommon's pillage. Talisman of Hierarchy, Tranquil Thicket, and Commons Knight of Old Benalia, Pondering Mage, Mind Rake, Pyrophobia, Windcaller Avon, What I Witch Creature, Goblin Shaman. Yes, we do love the goblins indeed. Rhyme Tender. Okay, I thought there was another card there. Interesting. Ephemerate, Choking Tethers, and Bladeback Sliver. Okay, so there we are for the first set of packs for Gav with a fantastic invocation. But wait, there's more. Box number two. What craziness will we find within? Let's check it out. And I'm flinging packs around everywhere like a Muppet as usual. Okay, we have Modern Horizons. Ah, Mystery Booster. Nice. Guilds. And I can't read that just now. Ravenkit Legion, Sycoria, and Theros. So now we're going to mix things up like so. And see if I can figure out what this card actually says. Okay, it's a Desolation Angel. Creature Angel 5-4 for 5 mana. So it has Kicker 2 white. Okay, with flying and when it enters battlefield, destroy all lands you control. If it was kicked, destroy all lands instead. Alright, so that is some nastiness right there. Land destruction is a thing, people. Be warned. Okay, Modern Horizons. Still looking for Ren and Stimpy. I say this every time we open this pack. I would like to see them one of these days. You know what I'm talking about, people. We get an Elemental, 
Arkham's Astrolabe, Snow Covered Island, and the rare is Lightning Skelemental. Creature Elemental Skeleton 6 1 for 3 in the Rakdos Colors with Trample and Haste. Whenever Lightning Skelemental deals combat damage to a player, that player discards two cards at the beginning of the end step. Sacrifice Lightning Skelemental. And you might have noticed I chucked in the art card. So, what are people thinking of the art cards? I think they're going to be doing those again in. Uh, the Zendikar Rising set, leave a note in the comments. Next up we have Goblin Matron, Carrion Feeder, Forgotten Cave, and the Commons Pondering Mage, Mind Rake, Pyrophobia, Wind Cooler Avon, Lancer Sliver, Ninja of the New Moon, Bellowing Elk, he's bellowing for Elko, or uh, what's, what's his name? Oko, yes, but I call him Elko. Phantasmal Form, Bow Garden, Dragon Heart, and Ephemerate. Okay, next up, some Theros. So we are going Titan hunting today, people. Those blokes are hard to find as well. Okay, no table required in the arena. A Plains, and... Okay, for a second I thought that was a foil, but still, Nyx Lotus. Nice one. Legendary Artifact for four. Nyx Lotus and Spurdful Tapped. You can tap, choose a colour. Add amount of mana of that colour equal to your devotion to that colour. Nice one. An Uncommons Chainweb, Arachnia, Scophos Maze Warden, Stinging Lionfish, Commons, Wrap in Flames, Zetessan Skirmisher, Stampede Rider, Flummox Cyclops, Indomitable Will, Elite Instructor, Nalia's Forerunner, Nyxborn Marauder, Scavenging Harpy, Nexus Wardens, and that is another pack. Now, Shocklands or Hydroid Crisis is the order of the day. Would be happy with either one. Okay, we got a Shimmer of Possibility, a Feral Marker, Knight of Sorrows, Coral Commando, Steeple Creeper, Creature Frog Snake, Carrion Imp, Blade Juggler, Watchful Giant, Final Payment, Ill-Gotten Inheritance, Uncommon's Rakdos Firewheeler, Smelt Ward Ignis, Clan Guild Mage, and it's a Mythic! It's Dovin Grand Arbiter, Legendary Planeswalker Dovin. Three loyalty for three, his plus one and two end of turn. Whenever a creature control deals combat damage to a player per day, loyalty counter on Dovin Grand Arbiter. His minus one credit, one one color, stop to artifact, artifact creature token. With flying, you gain one life, minus seven. Look at the top ten cards of your library. Put three of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Good deal. And a Rakdos Guild Gate with ooze. And what is your favourite guild on the plane of Ravnica? Surely it must be the Rakdos Guild. Leave a note in the comments if you think it is. And if not, I don't want to hear from you. Next up we have Go For Blood, Divine Arrow, Wingfold Terron, Survivor's Bond, Unlikely Aid. And we are looking out for the catbird here. Sleeper Dart, Convolute. Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote, Raking Claws, and Uncommon's Void, Beckoner, Creature, Nightmare, Horror, Momentum, Rumbler, Barrier, Breach, and the rare is Eerie, Ultimatum, Sorcery, for a ton of mana, returning a number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. And a Swiftwater Cliffs, and a Companion Token, I'll check that in as well, those look pretty cool. Okay, guilds. We struck out on the Shockland in Allegiance, so maybe in guilds. Okay, we'll have Sure Strike. And if the cards will cooperate, thank you. Collar the Culprit, Dazzling Lights, Barrier of Bones, Divkaran Dissident, Fresh Face Recruit, Artful Takedown, Samala Woodshaper, Devious Cover Up, Rhizome Lurcher. Chemist's Insight for the Uncommons League, Guild Mage, Street Riot, and the rare is Dawn of Hope, Enchantment for two. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two. If you do, draw a card, and for three in white credit, one one white soldier creature token with lifelink. And is it Guildgate, an Elf Knight token. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, final pack magic here. We got a mystery booster. If I miss any prices here, I'll uh, definitely catch those during editing. Chuck the cards in there. For Gav, we got Raptor Companion, 
Bonds of Faith, Snapping Drake, Cancel, Vampire Hex Mage, Blister Grub, Goblin Motivator Creature, Goblin Warrior, Fantastic Bomber Core, Feral Krushok, Naturalize, uh, Bitchumus Blast, I thought that was a rare for a second, but no. And a Frogmite, okay, and the, oh, what is this? Helm of Awakening, okay, so sooner or later we're going to get to a rare. And the rare is Chaos Warp, instant for three. The owner of target permanent shuffles it into his or her library, then reveals the top card of his or her library if it's a permanent card. He or she puts it onto the battlefield. And a Foil Mythic! Scourge of the Throne, Creature Dragon, 5-5 five, five for 6 with Flying and Dethrone. Whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life, or tied for most life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And whenever Scourge of the Throne attacks for the first time each turn, if it's attacking the player with the most life, or tied for the most life, untap all attacking creatures. After this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Alright, so a dirty big dragon there. Fantastic. Alright, so enjoy the pool, sir. Thank you for being a patron once again. And this month there will be a bunch of other Armand Ket stuff. So stay tuned. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.